Hi guys, I'm Joseph with ChargeCoin, and I'm here today to talk to you about what ChargeCoin is, because we've had a lot of confusion about just what we are. Uh, first things first, let's talk briefly about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Folks, there's so many questions, believe it or not, related to Bitcoin and Ethereum, and all I have to say about that is there's plenty of information already available about those subjects online and, frankly, in, in the media at this point. Uh, so do your due diligence with that as far as your research there. Um, all I can tell you is that in a nutshell, these technologies are here to stay. These technologies are disruptive and these technologies are continuing to increase in value. Um, Ch ChargeCoin being one of the many applications. Uh, ChargeCoin itself rides on the Ethereum blockchain, at least for the time being. We will not always ride on the Ethereum blo blockchain unless of course Ethereum increases their speed because Ethereum right now is too slow for what ChargeCoin does. So for our proof of concept and our initial rollout, we will use Ethereum and we will be migrating over to Hyperledger. Um, that's all just science details. All you really need to know is um, we're, it's fast already and we're gonna make it even faster and it makes it so that you can accept payments automatically with a charge station for very little overhead, very little setup involved. Um, now let's get into what charge station is itself. Um, it's all based on one very simple little device called the smart switch, okay? The one I'm holding right now is a Sonoff smart switch. Um, and the reason why I recommend this one is because it's cheap. It's $4.85. Um, here in the United States, where we're based out of, the electric standards are quite stringent. And so this particular device would not work. But anything that's UL listed would work fine. And, and frankly, even the more expensive smart switches are really not that pricey. Um, all a smart switch does, let's not confuse things, is turn on and turn off. And how it does it is via a remote connection. So if there's any, anything connected to that device over Wi-Fi, it has the power to turn it off and it has the power to turn on. And um, what ChargeCoin does is it creates that communication protocol via smart contract for it all to occur. The driver will show up with their car, they will plug in, they will push a button on an app that we have available to charge charge coin user base and they begin charging um, the button that they push on that app serves two purposes one it tells the smart charge station to turn on and two it sends money or charge coin via a wallet um, that those wallets the app user punches in how much time that they want to park for there's a set rate that the charge station owner defines, um, and then they push go. Once that money gets sent to the charge station, um, it, it turns on, and it turns on for however long that that customer has set. Now, the smart switch is actually quite dumb by itself. It requires a computer or something else behind it to power it. So um, charge coin requires also a, another simple part called a node. A node can be any computer that's repurposed. That's all a node really is, is a standalone um, a computer that is always on, key emphasis on always on. You don't wanna have customers showing up and have it not be on. So it's gotta always be on. Um, we also recommend, by the way, a simple node called a Omega 2 Plus or an Onion Omega 2 Plus. And that's only $9 or $18 if you want it loaded with the ChargeCoin software. So it's pretty much just plug and play, um, which is slick. So uh, smart switch, node, and uh, that you're, you're off to the races. That really is that simple. Um, if you want to get into more complex charging, there are three types of charge um, plus DC. So there's type one, type two, type three, and DC. Type one is trickle charging. It's just your basic outlet, what your lamp would plug into, and a smart switch and a node, and it will charge a car over over the course of half a day or a day uh, and then you get up to type 2 which is getting to where you actually need some safety equipment as well in order to make it happen although in in developing countries um, because we're going to program the node with a little bit of safety built in um, you can get away with just the basic of basics which is this next part I want to talk to you guys about next part is uh, a relay this particular relay is a solid-state relay and um, which basically just means uh, for your purposes that it will last a lot longer than your traditional relay. 
And so if you've got your node, your smart switch, and your relay, that's all you really need to get started with a Type 2 charger or 240 volt 50 amp. Uh, there's a couple of other parts that are probably needed. Uh, you need your 50 amp breaker. You need your NEMA 1450 here in North America outlet, uh, uh, different countries, different standards. So we're going to be trying to put together kits um, for each respective country or electric outlet type. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it's all the same thing. It's electricity. Uh, it's six gauge wire recommended here in North America. Consult with your local electrician for uh, what's best for you. Speaking of which, guys, can't believe I have to say this, but if you don't know very much about electricity or if you know less than you need to know in order to safely install a charge station, don't touch it. Consult electrician. Your life is not worth it, and, and frankly, we don't want to see anybody get hurt. So please do consult an electrician. Um, let's talk about type 3, speaking of electricity. Uh, 480 volts. Now we're starting to get into some really heavy charging, three phase, which some countries support natively. Countries like the United States, it's going to cost quite a bit extra to install. But you're also going to be able to charge your customers up quite quickly. And then, of course, the DC, which you see with like the Tesla supercharger, which is... Uh, a DC instead of AC connection. Uh, all of these these technologies, by the way, are requiring uh, of more and more complex safety features, as I mentioned. Um, the box, for example, that you need to have a communication protocol between the car itself and the electrical connection, such that the power only turns on when the plug is installed. This is very important. Um, so it's important not to sidestep this, especially at the higher voltages. Um, starts about $200 for a box. It can go on up to four dollars or $500, even $1,000 or $2,000, depending on the commercial viability of the solution that you pick for yourself. Um, and we also have, which I highly recommend you looking into, we have do-it-yourself kits um, for the creation of these boxes that significantly cut down on cost. We're, all, we're really just trying to have maximum amount of users uh, of this product, a maximum amount of charge station owners in, everywhere in the world. So um, we are actively creating kits that are simplified versions of all of this for people to use and we encourage the do-it-yourself community to work off of those kits, work off of those solutions that we've come up with to come up with even more elegant solutions, even more cost-effective solutions. And we invite the community to share those solutions with us uh, so that we can, we can have the best possible solution for every type of electrical outlet, every country, every market. Um, so check out those links at the bottom of the video. Those will explain in further detail the different charge types and so that you can get a better handle on which charge station is best for you. Folks, I recommend just starting with a non-electricity connection. They're really easy to set up. All you really need is a sticker and, and to register your node and you're good to go uh, for that parking location. And then you can work your way up, and um, we can assist you if you want. Send us an email, mail at charge.io. We can try to help you find an electrician in your area to set it up. Um, but anyways, uh, I hope that, oh, we got one more thing to mention. Um, the charge coin itself, um, guys, um, the, the whole reason this works is because the charge coin, um, we, we basically use charge coin in place of fiat, although, although charge coin can be converted to fiat or US dollar, the euro, anything like that. Um, it's, all, it's all great, but the, the platform itself requiring charge coin uh, just as a simple means of, of having a, a lucid uh, uh, connected platform. So it's all based on that charge coin. Charge coin station owners, excuse me, need to hold a certain amount of the charge coin in order to run their charge uh, stations and charge drivers need to spend with the charge coin in order to transact. So all, all charge coin is, folks, is a, a vehicle just like, just like any other currency um, for the exchange of money. And we've made it so that you need to use charge coin uh, primarily to, to allow for um, the platform to thrive. All right, guys. So um, that should answer uh, at least the majority of the questions we've been getting in regards to what charge is and, and how you can do it, do it yourself. Um, at the end of the day, guys, we really are trying to get people to share their thoughts. We are, we're hoping people are putting together kits themselves and sharing it with us so that we can share it with the world. So get to uh, creating those kits with your creative minds and, and help us to 
come up with the very, very best solution for all involved. Um, again, my name is Joseph, and um, feel free to leave any questions in the comments. We love those questions because they help us to better understand all of you so that we can uh, serve you best. And we'll see you soon.